What's up guys, welcome back. So today I wanna to cover credit cards and how to work out payments and the interest involved in purchasing things with credit cards. Okay, so before we even start anything, something super important we need to cover is basic how many days in each individual month. Now, when I teach this in class, it's not till I actually ask the kids, you know, do you know how many days there are in June, July, etc., etc., till I actually find out that they really don't know. So here's a simple way you can kind of remember. It's called the knuckle method, and it's really straightforward. You kind of just stick your knuckles side to side like that, as you can see on my screen here. And each knuckle, so each bit where it goes up, is 31 days. So for example, January, March, May, July, August, October, and December, all 31 days. Now, when it goes in the little divot bit, every month, except for February, is 30 days. So, as you can see here, uh, sorry, April is 30 days, June, September, and November. Except the, only, except the only thing you need to make sure of is February is only 28 days. One important thing to note is, so these knuckles go back to back, July and August, and yet they are 31 days. Okay, so that is something super important to understand when we're doing these credit card payments because interest is calculated every single day. Now, something important to understand or to actually recognize when we do these questions is you want to ask yourself, is it simple or compound interest? Okay, so that is obviously going to be a, a important factor. Also, one more thing is, does the interest include the day of purchase or payment. Because if that's the case, you're actually gonna to have to plus one day to however many number of days there are from the day you purchase it to the day you pay it. But let's have a look at some examples and hopefully it should clear up for you here. Okay, Mitchell's credit card has a flat rate interest of 14% per annum and no interest free period. He uses the card to make the following purchases from the period of the 1st of August to the 31st of August. So here you can see these three purchases here and their dates. If Mitchell pays his account in full on the 3rd of September, how much does he pay? Okay, so a few things to note here. It's flat rate is simple interest. It has no interest free period and he's got to pay back this thing by the 3rd of September. Okay, now it doesn't mention anywhere about including the payment, so we're good there. Now, whenever I do these credit card questions and there's multiple payments, I like to draw myself a table that looks like this. So it's really simple. It's three columns and the headings are purchase, number of days and the amount of interest. So if I just work my way down, the purchases are obviously going to be 85, 129 and $22. Now for the number of days, I'm just trying to work out how many days from the 2nd of August till the 3rd of September. Okay, so if I just scroll back up here, how many days in August? Well, there are 31 days in August. So think, I'm trying to get from the 2nd of August till the 3rd of September. Now, before I even get there, I need to actually get to the 31st, don't I? So between the 2nd and 31st, there's actually 29 days, isn't there? So I'll do this in a different color. So 29 days. And from the 1st to the 3rd, well, that's going to be another three days. Okay, so in total, this is going to be 29 plus 3, so that's 32 days. Okay, now the interest is simple interest, so that's I equals PRN. So that's simple substitution when my principal is $85 times my rate which is 0 0.14. Now you need to divide this by 365 because calculate every single day and times by 32 days. Okay, cool. So that's the first row done. And I'm just going to leave that as a calculation in itself and I'll add it all together at the end. Okay. Next one. So how many days from the 16th of August till the 3rd of September? Okay. So how many days from the 31st to the 16th? Well, Another way you can do it is just simple subtraction. So there's 15 days from the 16th to the 31st, and then just add on the extra September 1, 2, 3, so three days there. 
So I think that's going to be 31 minus 16 is 15, plus 3 is 18. So 18 days. So just work out my interest payment. So it's 129 times 0 0.14 over 365 times 18. Done. All right, last one. So movies. So 29th of August till 3rd of September. So I'm going to do 31 minus 29 plus 3. And I think that's going to be five days. Okay, so I equals P, so 22 times 0 0.14 over 365 times five. And there are all my interest payments. Okay, so I just need to add up all those highlighted sections there. All right, here we go. So 85 times 0 0.14 over 365 times by 32 plus 129 times 0 0.14 over 365 times 18 plus 22 times 0 0.14 once again over 365 times by 5 and my total interest here looks like is 1 one dollar and ninety eight cents to the nearest two decimal place but I need to work out how much he pays in total so I actually have to add on his purchases because he's not just paying the interest he has to pay obviously the amount for all the items so that's gonna be 85 plus 129 plus 22 plus one dollar ninety eight 85 plus 129 plus 22 so the total here looks like is two three seven point nine eight dollars. Okay, so in total he needs to pay that much off, including interest. Okay. Alright, let's look at the next example here. So Sarah bought a dining table and chairs for two hundred two thousand six hundred dollars on the eleventh of July using a credit card. Simple interest was charged at a rate of twenty point three five percent per annum for purchases on the credit card. No other purchases were made. There is no interest-free period. And the period over which interest was charged included the purchase date and the payment date. Okay, so there you go. What amount was paid when Sarah paid the uh, account in full on the 19th of August? So you can see here, it's a thick paragraph and there's things you need to tease out, but because there's only one purchase, I'm not gonna draw up a table. And I'm just gonna highlight some important things in the question. So simple interest, that's my rate. There's my principal, and I need to pay it back on the 19th of August. And it also includes the day of purchase and the day of payment. Okay, so because I know it's simple interest, I'm just gonna start with I equals PRN and put my numbers in. So it's 2,600 times 0 0.23, 0 0.2035 over 365. Now, I just need to work out the number of days. So just take your time here. So I'm going from the 11th of July and I need to get to the 19th of August. So do your knuckle method. July has 31 days. July has 31 days. So before I even get to the 19th of August, I need to get to the 31st of July. Now, how many days from the 11th Till the 31st okay well the previous method what we did was we said all right it's 31 minus 11 but because we actually include this day of purchase I'm gonna have to plus an extra one here now from this bit onwards from the 1st of August till the 19th of August is simple it's just gonna be 19 days so here you're gonna have another 19 from the 1st of August to the 19th so the number of days here is just going to be all these added together. Okay, so let's just quickly work that out. 31 minus 11 plus 1 plus 19. That is going to be 40 days. If I'm right there. Okay, now I'll just put this number back in here. So 40 up the top. I'm just going to move this a bit further down. So 
And what's my total interest paid? It's going to be 2,600 times 0 0.2035 over 365 times 40, so $57.98. I need to plus my purchases, so plus purchase or purchases, so I'm adding on 2,600. So my final answer is 2657.98. That is my answer there. All right, cool. So just be careful of that one extra day. Okay, let's do one more example here. All right, so Jones received a credit card from his credit card statement from National Bank for the month of May. Interest was charged at a rate of 18.9. 8% per annum compound daily. There is no interest free period. The period for which interest was charged included the day of purchase and the day of payment. So similar to the question before, we're gonna to have to add one day, but also it's gonna be compound and not simple interest. Now, once again, if there's more than one purchase, I like to draw a table as you can see here. I'm gonna fill in this information. So the first purchase is $33.90 and the second one is 1906.84. Okay, so how many days from, now this is quite straightforward because it's in the same month. So how many days from the 8th of May till the 31st? Okay, so it's going to be 31 minus 8, but I have to plus 1 because I'm also including their purchase. So let's work that out. Over here. So 31 minus 8 plus 1, that's 24 days. So my interest is compound, so A equals P, one plus R to power of N. So it's $33.90, one plus, z what was the rate again? 0 0.1898 over 365 to the power of 24. Okay, now repeat, the, repeat it for the next question. So the 21st of May to the 31st of May. Now don't forget, you also have the option of just counting your, on your fingers. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So 11 days. So if you're really not sure, just use your fingers. Once again, compound, so 1906.84. 1 plus 0 0.1898 over 365 to the power of 11. And now I just put both of this into the calculator to work out my total. So here we go, 33.90 bracket one plus 0 0.1898 over 365 to the power of 24 days, plus the next purchase, 1906.84 bracket one plus 0 0.1898 over 365 to the power of 11. So it looks like my total payments are going to be 1952.10. So that is my final answer over there. All right, guys, hope that helped. So just remember, there's a few things, obviously one, know your months, two, is it simple or compound? And then lastly, do you include the day of purchase and the day of payment or not? I'll put the notes down in the description. If there's any other things that you would like to see from me, just let me know, but I hope that helped and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.